In this video we will explain on how to replace the sole on GC gripper. Warning! Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating, maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. Before replacing the sole, we would like to show you how to check the wear on the sole. Bring the grippers in slow motion towards the middle of the machine and check the horizontal wear of the sole. Make sure that the sole is in line with a guiding hook so you can enter the gauge BA236904 in between the sole and the guiding hook. Replace the gripper sole when the second peg can be fully slide between the gripper sole and the guiding hook. This means there is a wear of more than 1.5 mm. Check the vertical wear and replace the sole when there is damage on the top of the sole. Measure the vertical wear of the gripper sole by means of a caliper gauge. Slide the caliper gauge 10 mm over the gripper sole and measure the thickness of the gripper sole. When the thickness is less than 0.5 mm you will need to replace the old sole with a new one. If one of the screws on the left and right gripper head is worn out, please replace it with a new one. We will start the video by replacing the sole on the left-hand side gripper. Remove the flexible rapier from the machine as subscribed in the manual. It is better to put an Allen key of 6 in between the gripper clamp and the gripper sole. In this case you will not bend the gripper plate when putting pressure to remove the three screws. Remove the Allen key of 6. Remove the gripper plate. Remove the worn out sole. Place the new sole. Push the sole and the tape towards each other. Place the gripper plate. Put the Allen key of 6 between the gripper clamp and the gripper sole to prevent deformation of the gripper plate. Add Loctite 243 on the bolts. And place the bolts. If you are sensitive to Loctite, it is better to wear protection on the hands. Hand tighten the three screws before tightening them with the correct torque. Tighten the three bolts with 0.61 newton meter. Remove the Allen key 6. Check if the transition between the sole and the tape is smooth. If the transition is not okay, replace with a new sole or use polishing paper to make the transition smooth. Check the transition between the gripper plate and the rapier tape. Bend the gripper plate in the gap of the rapier tape by means of a screwdriver, if the transition is not smooth. Now we will replace the sole on the right-hand side gripper. The checking of the wear on the sole is the same as from the left-hand side. Remove the flexible rapier from the machine as subscribed in the manual. Remove the three bolts, that fixes the gripper back onto the sole and the tape. Be careful, these are not the same length. Remove the gripper back and the spring. Push the spoon open and remove the spoon. Remove the bolt from the hook.
and remove the hook. Slide the old gripper sole out of the rapier tape. Slide the new gripper sole in the rapier tape. Mount the hook back on the sole and apply Loctite 243 on the bolt. Be careful again if you are sensitive to Loctite. Place and tighten the bolt with 0.61 newton meter. Place the spoon. Place the spring. And mount the gripper back. Put some Loctite 243 on the bolts and ensure that the correct bolts are back in the right place. Hand tighten the three bolts from the gripper back. Check if the gripper back is in the correct place. And check that the screw does not come out with the thread. If so, replace with the correct one. And tighten the three bolts with 0.61 newton meter. Check if the transition between the sole and the tape is smooth. If the transition is not okay, replace with a new sole. Or use polishing paper to make the transition smooth. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.